Uh, let's talk about some gaming news. Oh, gaming news. Uh, we got a couple articles. The uh, first thing we can talk about is... <clears throat> I went through, tried to reactivate my account, forgot my password, updated it, got the new password, downloaded the client, tried to install the game, installed the game, got it started up, was ready to play. You know, the demo was only available for three days. And unfortunately, just widespread server issues. Could never connect to the game. So it's, it's basically typical EA business as usual. That sucks, basically, for everybody involved. They wanted to play the game, and a lot of them just had a terrible experience. A lot of them just waited around trying to get back in. So uh, I actually did see an, a post on Reddit for this, or critiquing the PC port of Anthem. Yeah. And there was actually a developer response, and he addressed the issues basically line by line and gave real answers. They didn't realize it was an issue, or if they were working on it, or if they just couldn't do it at the, that time. He was honest and frank. So, I mean, props to Bioware for that. Well, I mean, it's better than, like, you know, companies that sell bad products, you know, things that are shoddily made. What a brilliant segue for our next story with Bethesda. Yeah, I heard about the uh, canvas bag controversy. They're trying to churn out products like crazy, and they have nothing to do with video games. Buy this polished turd, and will eventually create a game around it. Christmas came around last year, and basically just faked a bunch of discounts. If you go and look at the original prices, and to sell. They, you know, they'd basically put up there like, oh, this is a 25% discount. Like, you can do the math and it's not discounted. You're not giving me anything. This is just bundled together. You're trying to make it appear like, again, false advertisement. And they're not even investing that much time or effort into the products. Like, yeah. I mean... Uh, they want to have their cake and eat it too. Yeah, you can, you can look at the jacket. It speaks for itself. They're asking $276. And, you know, if you've ever bought a leather jacket, you might think, hey, that's a cheap leather jacket. Well, when you see this thing, yeah, I mean, they should pay you money. Yeah. yeah, it's I mean, terrible. Jesus. Oh, it's, it's so gaudy. It's unbelievable. It's designed for um, The trim on it, the yellow classic trim in gold. So yeah. It just looks... I Bad. just, I can't help but think that this was, like, made overseas in a shop where chuckling to themselves. We got a, we got a very elegant uh, update from, well, we're just going to butcher his name, so we're just not going to Shinya say Takahashi? It. All right, there you go. That sounds beautiful. Uh, basically, he, he explained to the consumers that they had determined that their video game wasn't up to par for their standards, and that uh, they just wanted to start over again project had been going on for two years. Everybody had been anticipating it because they had announced a trailer for Metroid Prime 4 3 had been hyped up. Um, I don't think we had been getting given a really uh, specific date, you know, say, quarter of 2018 or 17. Uh, they basically said, hey, um, in this update they said hey it's not going to happen we're going to take everything set it aside we're going to have the developers work this new studio and start again from the ground up because we just felt like it wasn't a quality product. I really feel like if they were an American company because they, um, they would have not done that uh, if they were an American company they would have just immediately published it and Try to get money back. Got every single cent that they could have. Said Nintendo manned up and said, you know what? Our consumers aren't going to be happy with this product. I want you to come back and work with the original developers of the Metroid game. Get reinvigorated with what brought the game to the fan base. Start all over again. Um, you know, we can throw some estimates around, but that could have been anywhere from two to four million dollars game development time. All of that invested in a product that probably no one will ever. 
that's that's rough for everybody involved um because that's just a lot of time and kind of just goes down the drain but the fact that nintendo came out and basically notified the public wow huge as well um we really wish game developers in the united states would do that uh they did release some skins um the skins man Um, they're really good I haven't played Overwatch in a while. But, Same uh, here. But one of us has, uh, as we heard earlier. Hey. Uh, Mark Joe's cut. Tell us about these skins. Well, I mean, honestly, you can tell. I've seen them. They're more familiar with them. Oh, yeah. Them. I know about the Three Kingdoms stuff. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, they're all based on the Three Kingdoms Legend of China. There's, like, Reinhardt as Guan Yu, uh, uh, Reaper as Lu Bu. Um, uh, I can't remember that name, but it's like one of the leaders of the Yellow Turban Rebellion. Um, and there's other cool things, like the, the emotes and stuff like that. Yeah, the Tracer skin's pretty cool, and no, there's there's Torbjorn and uh, Oh yeah, Torbjorn's. There was uh, the Arisa one, which is I don't know which character it was, but the one with the beard. Uh, the, the older man with the beard. I want to say it was Zhang Lao. Oh, 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 no, it's Hanzo. Oh, that's Hanzo's skin? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Make a metal. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. I didn't realize that was Hanzo. But it makes sense with the sword. What? No, that's Genji. Oh, right. I'm bad. I'm bad. It's oh. okay. We forgive you. I don't really play that game, so. I mean, that's I guess fair. I'm forgiven. Yeah. But yeah, so if you haven't played Overwatch in a while, log on, check it out, play a few games. Games. Uh, are they giving everybody one free loot box? Yeah, like yeah. they normally do. I actually managed one of the first one. Oh, what'd you get? Oh, I got the tracer. Nice. Everybody log on, get a bunch of characters with giant bushy beards, though. I don't know what's going on. Talking about blowing people. Oh. Uh, we checked out this new game called A Cart. That, that looks really cool. Um, it looks crazy. Uh, it's weird. It's confusing. But most of all, it's... it's Russian. Um, Russian, it's in, like, post-apocalyptic dystopia kind of thing. Well, I mean, it almost looks like the robots have just rebelled. That was what I probably I gathered. I don't yeah, know. It has really confusing concepts going on. Because it has an almost, like, the old sci-fi magazine style futuristic things. You know, heavy like, metal? Like 1950s? No, 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 no. no. Like 1950s. Oh, like the pulp like, magazines. Yeah, okay. yeah. We're like, oh, we have colonies on Venus. Things like that. You know? Yeah. But it, it, at the same time, it's clashing with the futuristic, sometimes futuristic looking robots, other times you're just like, what is that? But, um, man, uh, the trailer's like I don't know if it's a trailer, but it's like a 10-minute segment that we watched. And, ooh, it is, it is crazy. It's all my funny weird. You, if you like classic uh, role-playing games, you know, it's been out for quite a while, uh, Baldur's Gate. Mm, yes. I mean, I think it's probably either 15 or 20 bucks when it's not on sale. Typically, sell for uh, 10 bucks. Oh. Um, but classic uh, Dungeon, Dungeons & Dragons role-playing those sweet, sweet Steam prices, man. Uh, speaking of characters, we've been uh, a role playing, <laughs> but um, uh, now, now we're space marines. We do things for the emperor, fighting the good fight, and we have like exoskeletons, basically. We're just badasses. We just mow people down, and we laugh in the face of danger. And I gotta say, my favorite part from. What, was going on? what are you talking about, brother? Yeah, we got Hulk Hogan. Brother. Yeah, the first one was really bad. I, it takes me a little while to get into it. My wife's throat was like hurting so bad afterwards. That's that's why I didn't do it right now, because I was like, yeah, I don't want to go into it. So. Well, you got to make a voice that isn't yeah. too harsh on it, it made me think but for the hilarity, you gotta go to the voice of uh, Hero Brother. <laughs> I made Brian laugh so hard with that sergeant accent. Oh, my man. terrible Cockney accent. Yeah, for real. I can't. <laughs> British accent. 
<laughs> what was that accent? Like the, as a refresher, maybe? Oh, oh I'm sorry. Can Any you give more? me a two? Yeah, give it to me. <laughs> Another. Too bad. <laughs> no. Come on. But, uh, but yeah, like that. We don't normally do that. And I thought about uh, your roommate coming in randomly. I was like, I don't remember if he was chilling there. I love to think he went back chilling with people and was like, yeah, so I walked in with my friends all impersonating. <laughs> like, you're like, yeah, your friends are fucked. See, your Hulk Hogan <laughs> sounds like, like Space we're Hulk. We're having a good yeah. time. Or not Space Hulk, Space Hulk. Space, space Cop. Oh, Cop. God. Yeah. Actually, didn't Hulk Hogan do a movie? I don't know if it was called Space Cop back in the 80s. Oh, God, hold on. Yeah, I'm, go, I'm, I'm, go look it up. I'm using this magical Use. device. I'm like, Here's the source. But um, speaking of playing things... Oh, by the way, uh, Suburban Commando. Suburban Commando. That was the Hulk Hogan, essentially, space cop movie. He's like a space oh, bounty hunter, and he winds up there. Oh, and it's 91. So Commando. in 1991, Suburban... I might, I might have... I'm not sure. I think it's California. I might you know what would have come out like just a few years earlier... This awesome item I found 99. on eBay. Oh, there you go. There's a brilliant segue. We're going to look at some... Um... So uh, this is a first print NES Deluxe System set, which is uh, complete. Um, it's in the box with a Rob Robot, and it also has just 10 games along with it. And there's actually a Game Genie thing here, so I guess it also has all the codes with it. Oh, wow. um, and there's the original box. It's not sealed inside, so... You can also see, you know, up here in a bit. There's the back. Kids playing this game. Kid really close to it, just shooting love, over everybody's shoulder yeah, in the back, not I being able to stand in the front. Yeah, unpractical and unpractical. There's no way that gun would work so quickly. Right. Like, the kid's like two you inches away. Yeah. yeah. Although, who knows? I remember I have an infrared gun sitting at my house that should need to <laughs> I remember. I, I played Duck Hunt. All right. I, I remember trying to cheat at Duck Hunt by just standing by the screen and shooting yeah, and being and frustrated that it wouldn't help. work. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. I remember doing that too. The gun looks a little dirty. Uh, what dirty gun? Yeah, it looks like somebody mm-hmm. set it on its side that, and smoked cigarettes. That, that robot face, as it is, kind of. Someone sand off the numbers on that dirty gun. Oh, I wonder if it's not registered. Oh. Not hey, but there's, by Nintendo. So, there's a beautiful Rob robot that you would connect into the NES and be able to control. Um, he would also play some mini games and check out that beautiful I'm, face. I'm not going to lie. The only reason I know Rob robot is Bash, yes. Um, the top that he had- expected to be that way. Yeah. <laughs> They're showing the battery receptacle right now. Crap in there. Oh, yeah. It looks it's, like it's they, there were some yeah. extremely old batteries in so I'm trying. I'm just trying to imagine like what uh, you get two controllers, so you can play games two player game. Because that's where I want to like base well, everything off. My my guess is depending on the rarity of the games is really what's going to matter, and like, we can't look anything up. So I I'm yeah I'm going to say so uh, okay. Each. Well, before you go into it, we got Duck Hunt. We have Gyromite, which is one of the Rob games, I believe. Um, and they did mention that the gyro um, top thing, uh, the battery. It, it's a little bit shoddy. But uh, let's see what other games we have. We have the soccer. We have Gumshoe, which I'm not familiar with. We got Popeye. Golf. We got Hogan's Alley. Ten yard Fight. Oh, and Mock Rider. Golf. Golf. Oh, yeah, Mock Rider. That's, that, that's, that's a, a good classic. Game. Yeah. So, all, right. all in all, not the most solid game. Would you like games. to go first, or would you I, care for me to go first? I, I, I'm going to just like do a breakdown of the prices of so what I'm thinking of is fifty dollars per game, ten games, five hundred dollars. Then I'm going to say, hey, you know what? Um, the system's old, but it's unique. Uh, we're going to throw price figure with it with the light gun, five hundred dollars. Then we're going to say, you know what? Rob the robot. He's a lovable collectible. A bunch of kids want it because of Smash. Another five hundred dollars. One of those. So I'm going to say fifteen hundred. dollars what about this Game Genie guide? It's a little beat up. Oh, like $2? We're just going to say a 50 we'll, Okay. We'll just say it, it's, it's thrown in there as a freebie because, I mean, if you wanted to cheat doing the games, you don't. 450 
Four hundred and fifty dollars for Wade. No explanation. Just one thousand and fifty. All right. So this product selling on eBay. Four hundred and forty nine ninety nine. You both went over Wade by one cent. <laughs> Brian tremendously. I have yeah several thousand. Now there yeah, is a copy that is very nice and oh, new yeah. that I found. The main thing that I considered was the fact that it's already opened, it's not sealed, and there is wear and tear on the stuff. So as a collector, that's gonna hurt it, but its rarity helps compensate for some of that. Because I all I used to always overestimate prices on collectors' items because I didn't really understand what went into it. Kind of curious at just how much the game system. Would have thought like. Oh yeah, just an NES is like fifteen dollars. Yeah, um, really? the, games the box themselves? is the box kind of makes it worth more than anything else. Oh, wow, okay. I thought the games is no, because those are still pretty common, and the games themselves can they can range anywhere from like pennies to dollars. And the fact that it's the deluxe edition, yeah, but that that's that's the classic one. A decent one cost enough. Yeah, like I seventy think, bucks. I think they even did a reprint of them somewhat recently. Yeah, that's what the. I was say, you could tell just because of the color. Yeah, it's like this ridiculous. Go, go to the fifteen hundred dollar one. I just wanted to look look at it real quick because I was curious. So honestly, this thing you know ranges in price. You can get it one uh, lower quality. Oh for wow, all, this I'll take the fifteen hundred. None of it's sealed. No, yeah. the thousand dollar one seems like the best buy in, yeah. in my opinion. And it came with what? How many games? Was Although that gun is much. It seems like it is in better condition. Five hundred dollars. Yeah, it's not really. You no, put it's not. Yeah. The Careful now. There you go. There's your new Rob product. <laughs> Amiibo. Are the Amiibos are. I'm. I'm. No. I'm gonna end up getting addicted to those at some yeah. point. On. There's, Amiibos. There's one that's uh, for um, Breath of the Wild that gives you a pony. Yeah, I want that one. So, uh, how about we start wrapping things up? So, uh, that's our show. Uh, thanks for listening. Uh, or maybe watching. We'll see if this gets turned into a video or not. So, gross amount of edits. So, so, we apologize.